Welcome to our introduction to the QuickBooks Connection Wizard. The QuickBooks Connection Wizard will take you step by step through all the required factors that allow the two programs to properly integrate together. Be sure that ESC is properly integrated with QuickBooks using the Accounting Server method or the Direct Connect method for ESC single user customers. You can refer to our other video connecting ESC to QuickBooks for specific information. To begin, go into your ESC database and click on File, QuickBooks Connection Wizard. Most likely you've run through the first few screens to connect your ESC to QuickBooks, but we will briefly review them again. The first screen that displays will allow you to select between the different versions of QuickBooks you may be using. Select the appropriate one for you and click Next. If you're using ESC on more than one computer, select the Accounting Server option. If you're using ESC on just a single computer, select the Direct Connect option and click Next. If you have selected the Accounting Server option, the next screen will require you to enter in the name of the computer on which it runs. This can easily be found at the top of the Accounting Server utility. Enter the server name into the provided field and click Next. If you have selected the Direct Connect method, then as long as you have QuickBooks running on your computer, ESC will automatically try to connect to it, so just click Next. The next screen will display the message that connection to QuickBooks was successful if everything was in line and ESC was able to communicate to QuickBooks. If you receive this message, click Next to begin matching all necessary data and settings between the programs. The next screen will take you through the matching of the chart of accounts between ESC and QuickBooks. Click Next. Note, three accounts that you must have in both programs are accounts receivable, sales tax payable, and undeposited funds. These are mandatory accounts that make the integration work. The Match Chart of Accounts screen will display with two columns. The left side is the list of ESC accounts, and the right side is QuickBooks accounts. The goal here is to match or add all of the ESC accounts to QuickBooks. We do not need to add or match all QuickBooks accounts into ESC because you'll not be able to use the vast majority of them in ESC anyway. So starting with the ESC side of accounts, select an account, and if the one you want to match it to already exists in QuickBooks, click on it within the QuickBooks list and then click on the Match button between the columns. As accounts are matched, they will drop off of each list. If you have an ESC account that does not exist in QuickBooks, you can add it by selecting it and then click on the Add Account to QuickBooks button at the bottom of the ESC column. Repeat this process until the ESC column is blank and no longer contains any accounts. Select any accounts you need from the QuickBooks side and click on the Add Selected Account to ESC. Account numbering is strictly to organize the chart of accounts in ESC and does not affect QuickBooks. Again, remember, you should not add all of your QuickBooks accounts into ESC as you cannot use most of them in our program and adding useless accounts will slow down your posting routine. Once the ESC site is blank and all needed accounts from QuickBooks have been added to ESC, click Next. The wizard's next step is to match the terms that are in both ESC and QuickBooks. The wizard checks all necessary aspects of the terms with the same name, such as the due dates and discount percentages. If anything is different between the ESC and QuickBooks version of the same terms, the wizard cannot continue and the name of the term will be listed on the screen. You can update terms in QuickBooks by going to Lists, Customer and Vendor Profile Lists, Terms List. After you've made the modification, if necessary, click Refresh. Once all terms are matched, click Next in the QuickBooks wizard. Note, terms that exist solely in ESC will automatically be posted to QuickBooks when they are used on an invoice in ESC. Click Next at the synchronized vendor between ESC and QuickBooks screen to allow the wizard to compare vendor lists. The matching screen is similar to the screen for the chart of accounts matching. The goal is also the same, to match or add all vendors that exist in ESC to QuickBooks. You do not have to add all vendors that are in QuickBooks to ESC if they will not be used in the ESC side. Based on your integration setup, you'll be presented with one of three scenarios. One, if you're using ESC for the first time and haven't entered any vendors, then all you have to do is click the Import Vendors button and ESC will get all of your vendors from QuickBooks. Two, if you have vendors only in ESC but not in QuickBooks, there will be just an Export Vendors option to click which will add all ESC vendors into QuickBooks. Three, if you have one or more vendors in both ESC and QuickBooks, then you'll be able to match the ones that are the same by selecting them from each column and clicking the Match button. And number four, new in version 12 is the Add All Remaining button that quickly adds all unmatched vendors to the other program. Click Next when all ESC vendors have been matched and added to QuickBooks. The next phase of the integration wizard involves matching or adding tax codes between the programs. 
This is the first of a two-part process with the first part comparing the tax codes with NESC to what is in QuickBooks. If an ESC tax code does not exist in QuickBooks, it can be added here. If the code does not exist in QuickBooks, but the tax rate or vendor is different, instructions will display on the screen to direct you on how to correct this. Once all ESC tax codes are either added or matched to QuickBooks, click Next. This part of the tax code matching will allow you to import tax codes that exist in QuickBooks, but not in ESC. For each tax code to import into ESC, you will need to select the appropriate sales tax account that you want the sales tax to be sent to in QuickBooks. The sales tax payable account is typically the account that is selected for this purpose. Continue to add each tax code that appears in the list. Once all tax groups are matched between the programs, you'll be able to proceed with the integration process. Click Next. Click Next on the synchronized customer between ESC and QuickBooks screen to begin the matching process again. Some notes on the customer matching. Jobs and QuickBooks are basically sub-records under the main customer in the QuickBooks list. Jobs can be used like locations in ESC, or they may simply represent a one-time work order that was performed and recorded under that customer. You can import QuickBooks jobs into ESC as jobs, locations, or both. When integrating an existing QuickBooks database to a brand new ESC company, if there aren't any customers entered into the ESC database, the integration will offer four options on how to import customers and jobs into ESC. Note, these four options will only be displayed if there are no customers in ESC. Once you select an option and import the customers and or jobs, rerunning the wizard again will not display these options again. The options are, first, do not import jobs from QuickBooks. Select this option if you are not using jobs in QuickBooks or do not require the jobs to be in ESC. Second is import jobs entered in QuickBooks as jobs in ESC. Select this option if you would like to import jobs from QuickBooks and have them only be displayed as jobs within ESC. The imported jobs can be viewed or selected in ESC by going to Customer Info, Set Up Jobs. The next one is import jobs entered in QuickBooks as customer address locations in ESC. Select this option to import QuickBooks jobs as locations under the customers in ESC. For each job imported from QuickBooks, a separate location will be created for that customer in the Enter Customer screen in ESC. The last option is Import Jobs, entered in QuickBooks as address locations and jobs in ESC. Select this option if you'd like to have jobs imported from QuickBooks and be displayed as jobs in ESC, as well as be added as separate locations for each customer in the Enter Customer screen within ESC. Note, once an option is selected here and the import occurs, the process cannot be reversed without creating a brand new ESC database to use. Now, if your ESC database has even one customer that was entered, you will not get the four options mentioned, but you will then be able to add or match customers from either side as you could with the chart of accounts and vendor matching screens. When there are just records remaining on one side or the other, you can then click on the Add All Remaining to add the remaining customers easily to the other program. It is not necessary to match all customers, and if you have a lot to go through, you could do some now, exit out of the wizard, and resume it later. Once you have completed the customer matching, click Next and you'll be able to import inventory parts from QuickBooks into ESC. Two things to note about this screen. One, the utility will import all of your stock inventory parts from the QuickBooks item list into ESC. Items marked as inventory assembly, service, or non-inventory parts will not be imported. Second, during this import process, we only import the parts themselves and do not import part quantities. This is because you would manage inventory within ESC exclusively and just post financials to QuickBooks. You will need to manually receive your part quantities and cost into ESC. This process is thoroughly detailed in our help documentation within ESC. Go to Help, Help Topics, and search for the keyword Backload. The next screen will add or match employees between the programs. If an employee is in one program and not the other, you can add it by clicking the Add Selected Employee button on the bottom. If the employee exists in both sides, you need to match them. Simply click on the employee on the left and then on the right, and then click Match in the middle. When matched, the employee will drop off of both lists. Again, this is the same as the chart of accounts, vendors, and customer matching screens. If there are no employees in one program, you'll be able to import the entire list from the other in one easy step. After employees are matched between the programs, you can use the Post Time to Payroll feature in ESC that allows you to post dispatch time information to the timesheets for use with QuickBooks Payroll. The Post Time to Payroll process is explained in detail within the ESC Help system. Congratulations! You have now completed the QuickBooks Connection Wizard. For more information on ESC's integration with QuickBooks, please continue with the tutorial videos in this section.